Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to episode 7 out of our Ravel uh, search and rescue vessel. And in the, this episode, what I've done is, well, actually in the last episode now, we finished these. So that area of the superstructure there, they're all done. We've got all the railing bits on, all the bits of photo which I showed that in the last one. So they're ready to be glued together and then painted. But what I thought I'd do before I did any of that is um, move on to this step here, which is 20 and 21 that we're up to. Um, because, well, they're listed before actually putting those on, as you can see, step 21. So I thought I'd do the stairs. And uh, it's going okay, although it was a bit frustrating because, as usual, the instructions were a bit vague, to say the least. So let me show you what I've got going on here. Now, if this is your first time watching this, um, please hit the subscribe uh, button down below and the notifications bell so you get all the notified of when the video is released. Um, you're watching this for the first time whip back to the playlist and go watch the unboxing and catch up <laughs> as we're up to episode seven now and there'll be uh, quite a few to go yet so let's have a look all right so here we got the railings and so i've taken them off the sprue i've trimmed them up but what i have to do for these railings is i have to cut off the bottoms here so these have to be trimmed off because they go directly onto the side of the frames of the stairway. Now, the photo etch is pretty much replacing everything else. Um, so let me just show you the photo etch here. So these are the <laughs> our famous, fabulous instructions. So this is step six. Now, if you look carefully there, we'll get that to focus properly um, I think there's a problem with this photograph um, step six is here and it seems like something is missing see how the dotted line sort of ends and then this like something's not right and this has nothing to do with the stairs at all that should go all the way across and then we've got this which is F 108 pointing to well pointing to nothing there's nothing there um, now as we go down and we look at here we've got our pieces of photo which so to make up this these are the two sides and then we've got to do the uh, plate stairs you know they're like checker plate metal stairs going up the center there and it's telling you to use uh, these pieces, which are four, seven, and nine, for that side. And then for this side, we do five, six, and 11. Now, going through as we go down and look at these, these are the two, four, and five ones. Okay, so four and five are the pieces to use to build these stairs because there are 11 steps, okay? That's how I know. And as you can see here where the railings, it's shown that piece to be cut off, which I mentioned a minute ago. And then that goes on like that. And then seven, six and seven side pieces are these ones here for these railings, for these steps, which have nine steps going up. And you can see it's got six and seven there. So they're a different length. And then the last one down here, which I think there is only one of, um, there were two of each of the others, is the last one, which is the um, 9 and 11. And you can see them labeled 9 and 11. All right. So that all seems to make sense. Um, the problem is that when this photograph or this image here, is these this one here 
is showing it upside down. This one is showing it the right side up. See how these two little tags are at the top and on this side they're at the bottom. When you look at the actual stairs, and I'll we'll go and have a look here where this is where I found it easier to look at what they look like finished. Um, those little tabs on both sides are at the top. So the other side was showing them upside down. That confused me forever because I couldn't figure out what was going on. Um, trying to work out, right, these have to be bent um, sort of outwards. So, for instance, so these where the lines are showing, so the edges are bent out and the little tags on each end are bent out. But this one's upside down. You've got to turn that around the other way. And it's showing here those steps are on the inside. This one here is correct. That's correct. See, the steps are going on here. But it's a bit tricky here because even though this looks like it's showing on this side, it's actually showing the other side, if you work out what I mean. And upside down. Uh, yeah, it's really confusing. It took me a while to figure it out. So, anyway... So on the photo edge, there's the two pieces I took off and I figured out how they go together. These are all the steps and you have to be careful as you see there are ones that are different sizes here. So I'm not sure which ones. I think it's the, um, the next two I have to make have wider steps. And not only are they wider, but there's a little perforation where the step bends underneath and they're at a bit of a slight angle so there's a right way and a wrong way for them to go in as well um well actually now that i think about it they can only go one way can't they so so that's fine but there's a slight angle in that so what i've done here is now i won't i can't move this too much i'll slide it forward a bit here we go so i've got one bent piece which is there's the other side and have a look at that see how i've got that bent like that and those little marks in there are where the steps go so they're easy to line up the steps will go in there and get glued on and then that's going to be one side as the steps go up there's all my steps there and here we go with the first piece and i've just glued that on there i've got my little mixing pot here with my uh, extra uh, ultra glue from ammo and the reason I'm using this too is because not only does this dry slower so I've got a bit of time to position this as best I can because it's it has to be perfectly vertical because I need that to match up when it's dry it's going to have to attach onto there and my plan is to do one step and connect it on to there. Maybe I'll do this end um, as well. I'm not sure. And slide the other steps in to their position rather than do all the steps along one piece and then try to line them up as I put that on top. But I will have the option to do that if I need to because using this glue, it doesn't dry like CA uh, super glue, where it's stuck solid and, and brittle, and if you try to move a piece, if you could, it's just gonna snap off. Um, this is a softer glue, and it is for photo etch, and what will happen is, um, when it's dry, it still can be moved a little bit. It's like, a, it's like putting a rubber seal around there it's not going to they're not going to fall off but they're they're attached and into a soft softer glue so that will help me position the other rail side when the time comes and that's got to go on to there that's the plan um it'll work i'm sure um i've used this on my other um warships my battleships when i'm done photo etch railing 
um, because I found that in my earlier models that I did, I mean, going back nearly two years now, the first ones I built, I always use CA glue to put the photo etch railings on. And now I've noticed when I go and look at my models and I want to clean some dust off them and have a look, um, that a lot of the railings have come detached because CA glue over time tends to get brittle and the slightest little movement or twist in the ship or whatever when you're handling it, moving it, um, they just detach and spring out. And they're just left hanging there. But this stuff, as far as I can tell so far, no railings have come off. So there you go. Uh, tip for the month. <laughs> All right. So what I'll do now is I'm going to go on and do this. We'll come back and have a look at the first stairs once I put the railings on as well and have a look at that because there's two of these ones with 11 steps I've got to build. And then I will go on and do the other two, uh, three. There's another three stairs, two which have nine steps and one with the 11 steps. And then, which... <laughs> I also notice in the instructions here uh, that well, like we're on to step 20 now and 21 doing these stairs. Uh, but again, we still got to do 20, step 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, down to 27 before we actually put any of the stairs on. Uh, and four of them will go on in, down in step 27 which is well and truly after we've got most of this superstructure uh, on, which means I'll have to paint that first. Anyway, it's all getting there. It's all coming along. All right, so we'll come back after I've put these on. I'll let you know how that went, and we'll have a look at the end result. Okay, back shortly, guys. Okay, welcome back. So it's been a day, actually, since I last showed you this. And I've put all the stairs on, you can see. So they're all on there. Now, I sort of went against what I was saying about this. Now, I know I said I was going to use this, but how what it turns out is I had two problems. One is it being white. It was when I put a little bit on where I need to glue the step, it covered the little line in there that it's supposed to line up with. So if you look at this one, for example, you see those lines? That's where I've got to sit the photo edge. But when this is when I use this, it makes it hard to line them up perfectly when you can't see through. And the other reason is that um, it this is slow to dry. I mean, you've got to leave that at least a couple of hours. And I was doing one, two steps at a time. Uh, this is going to take forever. So what I've done is I've broken out the icky, sticky, medium CA glue. And what I've done is I just put a dot on my little post-it pads, which I just tear off these as I use them. A little dab of the glue there. And then I've come along with the tweezers, just touched it in and touched it on a spot and done. And... It dried instantly, and I'm fairly confident this will probably be okay. Uh, yeah, it's just it's the process would have taken forever. It was taking me hours to do one stair, and I got to do five of these. So it would be like this whole video episode would be just doing these stairs, and that's just crazy. <laughs> um, another thing is while they're drying now so i've put them on and i'm going to leave them because i have actually put a couple on using my um ultra glue so i'll leave that overnight to dry permanently and what i'll do is i'll just come along with this the other side um, put some glue across the top and simply place that on top and that'll be the staircase done uh, and i was just looking at them thinking that doesn't look right <laughs> Because the piece was upside down. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to go that way on there. So, that's fine. Now, with the railings, um, what I did was, and here's a bit of a tip too, is these bottom 
runs had to be taken off because these sit down on here. So the railing is going to sit like pretty much like that. Now what you want to do is when you cut these off, cut them at an angle so that you, it's going to sit flush at the same angle of the stairs. All right, make sure you cut them at that right, correct right angle. And also hang on to these too, because if you, you know, clean them up a little bit, maybe that you could use them for a bit of extra piping around the ship or just a little bit of detail somewhere. You might, might want to add just something, you know, a bit of um, pipes or something above the windows or whatever. But it's always good to hang on to little off cuts like that. But anyway, all right, so that's what I'm doing with these. These will take me a little bit, well, a lot less time to put them together now. So I'll get stuck into this and we'll come back when they're done next time, promise. <laughs> All right, back shortly. Okay, hello everybody. So let's see where I'm at. So doing these stairs here. Let's move it up a bit so get it all in. Right, so I'm almost complete. Almost. Those two are done. Those two are done. And about half of these are done. Well, there's only one of these to do, and I've three quarters done it. We'll have a look at that in a second. So first of all, these ones here, I'll move this back out of the way. Here they are in here. So I've labeled them so I don't get them mixed up. But the difference being the number of runs in the stairs. One's got... Uh, 11 and the other one's got nine so there they are there with our railings glued on so they're a little bit tricky um, particularly lining them up but once the bottom section was glued and I put this top, top bit on and just lowered it on it all went on quite square and it was fine so those are done that's those two of step 21 then step 20, pretty much the same thing. These were just a little bit shorter in length. Uh, but they folded up really nice. Now, that is done. So they're good. They're ready to paint before they go on. That's all that has to be done with them. Now, the tricky one was this one here. Now, for this, not only did we have to cut off the railing on the bottom here so that strip has to come off but they actually in the instructions have us recycle and use this strip to create two more rails that are missing here so if you look at this one which you'll see here I've just stuck that on I've had to add that rail in there from the strip there's the rest of it there and that's ready to be used at the other end. So that little piece there, I had to cut and get the angles correct and the lengths right and put that on, including the little piece, use my little pointer here, including this piece in the center here. So that worked out okay. Um, this one's a little bit trickier because it doesn't, there's no more slots on the top for the railings, these braces to go into except here, which is goes on the top of the stairs. You can see that. I'll just make sure it's there. See, it's going to go on the top of the stair there, which is at a different angle, which means that this piece is longer than those four, so I can't just go cut it the same size. So what I've had to do is glue this on first and then use, then cut off a piece that I know is going to fit in there, and that'll get glued in. And then I'll cut another piece like I did here to put in the center there. But what I will do first is once I get these lengths correct, I'll do it, I'll do it with this piece as well. Um, so that I don't have to go the fiddly bits of measuring and everything. So yeah, and that's the, the largest of the five of them all up. And this one is actually not used until. Uh, further in the manual, it's just that I feel well I'm doing the stairs, I might as well do all of them now uh, so I think it's uh, forward in step 41 
So in the instructions here, there it is there. So that's what we're replacing with the photo edge, and that's not till step 41, which is a fair way on. And we're only on step, uh, what, 20, 21 now. Okay, so um, I'm just going to finish off this one now. And, um, oh, then what? I don't know. We'll have to have a look at, uh, we're probably going to go back on the 21 here and put that bit of the superstructure that needs to be glued together that we did in the previous episode, which is still, and there it is all sitting there. And yet that has to be painted as well. But I want to get those, these walls glued onto this and then paint it all in one go. But we'll come back before I do that. Okay, back in a sec. Hey, welcome back. So I've just put the stairs aside, just letting them dry. I've only got a couple of little bits of the railing to put on now and they're done. I'll show you them afterwards. Now, what I've done is I've gone ahead and put this superstructure here. I've glued the two, three pieces together, made sure they fit up on the deck, which does, although it's a tight fit. <laughs> and what I'm doing right now is putting the railing in. You might just be able to see the thin photo etch handrail that runs along there which is here's the other side to give you an idea of what this stuff looks like so uh, there's really nothing to it see and there's no real attachment point you've just got these thin little metal prongs that attach onto the side which you've just got to glue them on so what I'm doing is I've used a bit of blue tack to hold one end while this is going around the corner here and that'll just hold it in place while it's sitting there and then I've used my icky sticky medium CA and because I need a finer point than what it has on the um, extension on there I'm using a one of my pens that I've adapted with you can just see that wire a little bit of wire on there so what I do is I'll put the glue on the pad like this. I'll just touch it on here and I'll get a smallest little piece of glue on here and then just go along and touch those points where I want them to stick. And I'm just doing it slowly, uh, just a couple at a time and slowly working all the way along to the end where I'll be able to, <coughs> excuse me, remove the blue tack. Um, and then I'll do the same on the other side. And then this is ready to paint. This will all be painted white. Now, as you can see, the portholes here have windows in them. Um, they're still on the screw. I haven't taken them off yet. They will go on last after everything's painted, of course. Might um, possibly, because I'm going to clear coat this as well, uh, afterwards, what I'm thinking of doing, I've got some liquid uh, masking stuff that I'll be able to put over those windows when I do run the clear coat over the ship um, so they don't fog up at all. Get rid of that nice uh, reflection I'll get, but you'll, we'll get to that later, <laughs> a long time later. Yeah, so, so I'll keep working around this and get the other uh, railing put on and then, um, and then I'm going to put a, a coat of un an undercoat on this before I hit it with the, um, the gloss white. Okay, and we'll come back and look at the stairs too because uh, they also need to be painted. Okay, back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So I've got all the stairs finished and they're all painted now. They're all in undercoat. I'm going to leave them overnight. Um, although I may, in a couple of hours, might, might give them the... Uh, gloss white. I've also got the um, that upper hull is all in undercoat as well and I also took out those exhaust um, pipes that go on the back of the ship later in the build. Uh, I thought well while I've got the undercoat I'll do them too so they're done. Now so in the meantime while that's drying I thought well I'll just move on to the next step as you do. So 
we'll come back to 21 when all this goes down on the deck uh, as that's drying. Now there's some clear parts for the windows there, which I've put aside and they're actually in the container here. So they'll go on last. And then while I've moved on again to step 22, is this little section here that goes in behind on the back section there, right? So there's three pieces, which are these three here. Now, uh, there's a door on here, but this has got to be covered in photo etch. There's a lot of photo etch for this, which you will see here. Okay, so what we're looking at here is that wall is that wall. So there's a piece of photo etch for the door, and I've test fitted it. I've looked at the sheet here. There's our photo etch sheet. There's our door. Now, I was thinking, well, should I take the door off? Um, but then I thought, well, let me just check, and I've realized that that actually, the photo etch fits over the door pretty much perfectly. So, and this is flat, so at least it's a raised door. It's going to look a bit not right if it's sitting flush with the wall. So all I do have to do is take off the handle because there's a separate little piece of photo etch for the handle. So the door will go over the top of the door. The handle will go on top of there. Then there's completely two new doors here or hatches. I'm not sure. Going by the way they shaped they tend i think fold down as openings i'm fairly sure so and there's also a railing on them as well now those will be in here somewhere i'm not sure i think that's 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 them there that's the two of them there okay so those will go on uh and with them will be uh, some railing, which we'll find that. <laughs> but also, I noticed there's this piece on the side here, which turns out to be this. And there's one on the other side as well, which we can't see in the photo. And it's covered with a sheet of photo etch. So it looks like there's some sort of an air vent um, for cooling the room in behind there. So there's an air vent that goes there on both of those pieces and there's the vents two vents there nicely detailed um, so they'll go on those pieces pretty easy um, yeah so I will do that now I'll go ahead and um, put all these pieces on and then hopefully that paint will be ready and the, the sun will be up, still up because it's only uh, about 2 p.m. in the afternoon, so I'm pretty confident I'll get the uh, clear coat, uh, the gloss white on those stairs and everything, and they'll all be done. And they'll be ready to go on, which is not yet, that's not for another half a dozen steps, but at least they'll be all prepared and done. Okay. The main part now will be putting on that superstructure on the deck when it's painted, which will probably be uh, tomorrow because that'll definitely need to dry overnight. And then doing and putting these on. Um, as for the colours and the railings, I'm guessing all of this will be white. I will go to the actual some video footage of the um, the ship itself and just check uh, because obviously there's no it's not on the kit as anything. So we'll make sure that's all white and um, yeah, all good to go before we move on to the next part. Okay, so. Uh, I'll be back. It'll be about three hours. You don't have to wait that long. I'll be back in two seconds for you guys. All right, back shortly. Okay, welcome back. And uh, I'll show you where I'm up to. So what I've done here is I've done the photo etch on those panels that I showed earlier. So that's all glued on the doors. It's come up quite good. Those I'll be a bit careful. I've just glued them, so they're still drying. They're, they're like 
air conditioning vents or air vents on the walls that sort of go on here like this. So that will pretty much be sitting like that and then put these on the sides. Now, of course, I was doing that while the other parts were drying and the other parts drying include this. So there's our superstructure all painted up. Get out of the way. There it is there. Come up quite well. Um, it was fairly tricky gluing these two sides. As you can see, there's sort of a inward, it's sort of bent inward. Now I can straighten them out, that's no problem. But the deck that sits on top of here, I've already test fitted it, in fact, there it is there. It's quite tight. So it will go in there, and then they see this little gap here. <laughs> well, it's not such a little gap, is it? Now if I push it in, I can close it up, but there's going to be a bit of a gap in there that I can't do anything about. And the main reason for that is because there's no sort of location pins or anything for these sides. So I did my best to fit them straight as I could, but it's just a little bit out and that's what's made the difference. Uh, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, this piece here, I actually just, I put that on there as a, a point to hold that while I was painting it because there was really no place to hold it. I'll just cut that off you can't see where that is anyway and also to strengthen this because there's not much in there was you'll see I've put I'll just hold that properly you can see in there um, there's some um, sprue glue that I had made up I put that in the gap to fill that I did it on both sides there yeah so that's all um, just to strengthen that um, because I had to do that, <laughs> otherwise this wouldn't have stuck on properly. Um, but it's all good, the railing's on there, um, and now I've just thought about it, this isn't quite complete. There is one rail along there that needs to be painted brown, I guess uh, a wooden handrail. I'll check the... Um, I'll check the actual ship and see about that, but it definitely needs to be painted wood color. And what I will do for that is I will use my Posca pen to just paint that on there. And I'm pretty sure I do have a, yes, there's a brown one there. Um, no, there's a brown one. <laughs> anyway, there is a brown one, trust me. Um, and if that doesn't match, well, I'll just paint that on. It's quite too hard. So that's that piece ready, almost ready to go on the deck of the ship. Um, now, also, I did all the stairs and they've all been painted up. So this one, which won't be till step 41, is that stairway. So that's come up all nice. That's all finished in the... Uh, the gloss white. Now, on all these stairs, I still need to do the runs in the um, silver, the checker plate metal. Again, I will check to see if they're not painted a different color on the actual ship, uh, whether they might be green, the deck color, or, um, yeah, something a bit darker. But as uh, far as the instructions say, they, they're going to be painted chrome. So that's the larger of the stairs. Then there was the smaller ones, which I used in step 20, I think it is. And that's those two. And as you can see, same thing. Came up quite nice. Uh, and again, I'll paint the runs in the steps. 
and then the ones that have the slightly extra uh, runs in them. These are a little bit. Oops, these are a little bit longer. That's those ones. And uh, again, they've come up fine. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll paint all the runs on those. Um, and also, while I was doing the painting, I also get, got the um, blade star for the front of the ship and painted that up as well. I'll put that away in the box uh, to go on very, very last. <laughs> um, there's also um, those... Uh, exhausts pipes which I put them somewhere uh, in the container here and I've just left them in the white undercoat while I decide uh, the color that they're going to going to be okay so now I'm just going to uh, finish off these stairs first on here uh, as soon as they're painted up there we go um, I'll tick them off as done. In fact, I'm cheating, they're done because I'm pretty much gonna get on to them straight away. Um, I found this, uh, here yeah, it's a Tamiya XF16, it's a flat aluminium and uh, pretty good to the color I want. It, it's actually the similar color, I'm pretty sure the same color I did down on the deck where the um, plating is, where that other little boat comes up on the rear of the deck in the previous video. So we'll match it with that. So I'll do that. I'll paint them up and uh, we'll come back and have a look at those because after they're painted up, I can go ahead and fit uh, the superstructure onto the top of the ship, which I'm a little bit concerned about because it's going to be a tight fit. So... We'll see how we go there. I've also got, I didn't mention it before, the clear parts in there ready to go on on there as well, on the inside of those pieces that I've got there, uh, the superstructure. Uh, and then it will be straight up going to put on these pieces here, which is where we put, which is these. So those will go on, of course, painting them first. They'll definitely get painted first. And then moving down to 23 is uh, these here, which is uh, another unusual thing. Well, I'm getting used to it, so I guess it's not unusual for these instructions. But we want to build two of these barrels here. And you think, oh, okay, and where do they go? Well, it's step 23, so there's the piece from step 24, 25. Here's all these pieces going on the deck, which is all the... Let's see that, sorry. Here's all the stairways and so forth going on. You think, well, what, what are these? Where are they? Now, I have found them in the photo edge, because like the other life raft containers, which is what I think these would be as well, there's a bit of photo edge strap to go around them. Uh, nothing too complicated. I think it's to show you that's it there whip that up there we go so I'll be able to do that and that might be uh, oh I see so we're taking a bit of, bit of plastic off so we'll just sand that off around there and that's putting looks like one two three four bits of photo which going on that and then like I said I'm looking for the location we go over the page um, through all this. There's nothing there. Nothing. Nothing here. We we'll go over the page again. Still nowhere. All right. Go over again. Then finally, in step 46, there it is. So there's those two of them getting put on the deck next to these pieces which i made about four steps earlier um so yeah quite unusual that you know you you make these little bump sections or little pieces why not make them close to the time when you're going to put them on the 
on the model. That's, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's the way it is. <laughs> All right, I'll get on to this and paint these uh, steps in here and uh, we'll come back and have a look at them. I'll be back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So I'm just uh, painting the chrome stairs, which uh, comes up quite good on there. And uh, I've done two sets of stairs already. It almost goes on like a wash. It really sits in there well. See that? A little bit tricky. I'm trying to do it in the camera with my Optivisor goggles so I can see. So I don't want paint going where it shouldn't go. Um, but uh, yeah, I did find a bit of footage of the ship that showed quite clearly um, these stairways. And uh, yeah, they are definitely chrome stairs. So, so that's all accurate. Um, there's quite a lot of detail I noticed in there too. Like on the side of the stairs here, they had a fire extinguisher mounted. Um, some other bits of chain, uh, some life boys, um, ones that I don't know what you'd call them. They're big round balloon colored things that are uh, orange colored in this case that you just throw over the side when you're up against the wharf just to protect the side of the hull from, from uh, scratching and uh, they had those on the deck in in this area under the stairs. Um, quite a lot of detail, which the kit doesn't include. And I'm not sure if I could add them or how I would make them up. Uh, but anyway, there's options. So... Anyway, I will keep going with this. I've got this one and about yeah, two more to do. I'll have all the stairs done. And uh, be able to start putting some stuff on the uh, ship itself. Oh, and I've also got to remember to paint the, that banister or railing on the side of the superstructure. The other thing too was um, these here vents on the side here. I don't know if they're to be painted white. I'm wondering if they're going to be like a chrome color on the ship. Now, I haven't yet been able to find some footage that shows me that yet. I mean, I could paint them white like the rest of the wall, but and then put a wash over them, like a gray uh, panel line wash. But I will check if they need to be painted a grey or a, a metal colour. I'll see if I can find some more footage of that. Um, these doors, I can be confirmed. I can confirm they are white. So that's not a problem. I'll do all those white. Um, but the walls, I just haven't been able to see. I'll, I'll have a look for some more footage before I decide. So anyway, I will keep on with this and we'll come back and have a look at them when they're all done. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So there's our stairs all done. Uh, come up really nice. And I don't think I'll put a second coat on the um, chrome. It looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, yeah, they're all ready to go on. And uh, so that's it for this video. It's been gone long enough i'm going to go into our next video which will be in episode eight and we'll get into some interesting stuff there where we'll put the superstructure on the deck um probably get some of these stairs on although there's a few things that need to be done before that there's those two barrel oh no the barrels well they're for later on but we'll do them anyway um there's also uh, some sort of a winch that I didn't show you, but there's a winch that needs to get put together, and I'm assuming that's going to take a lot of photo edge. Let me just show you on the instructions. I'll just readjust my camera. I'll be back shortly. Okay, so 
Um, there's that piece there, which I'll make up that's used later on. But here in step uh, 24, 25, and 26 is putting together this winch. Now, there's quite a few parts to that by the looks of it. Uh, I think that's part of this. I'm not sure, but that is definitely part of it. Yes, it is. So that's that bit from 24, and that's 25 is that bit going all onto here. Okay, so there'll be a few pieces to take off the sprue and clean up and get ready for that. But there's also quite a detailed photo etch. Let's have a look at that. So there we go. So we'll bring this in a little bit more and have a closer look. So, yeah, so there's our photo etch parts. Now, there's some bits of plastic that need to be removed. There's, uh, yeah, so looks like most parts need a little bit of plastic removed and they'll be replaced with photo etch. A few bits to bend, a few bits to go on. So that looks quite interesting. Um, as for the colour call-out for that, go back to here, we've got most parts of it are K and F. So K and F are the most, we'll go and look at what colour they are. So K will be uh, the green. Yeah, the green. And the F will be iron metallic. But again, we'll I'll check with the actual ship reference photos and videos that I have and check on that. So yeah, but um, that will be in the next part, which will be episode eight. So thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notifications tab. So you get notified as these videos come out. Um, they're proving quite popular and um, keeping a little bit shorter too. I know the attention span of most people is not that long and there's a lot to view on YouTube. But I'm keeping them down to the half hour to 45 minute mark and, uh, and still getting the same amount of content in there. So thank you and uh, thank you to the subscribers uh, that are that have recently joined for some reason have seemed to have jumped up in subscribers and uh, got up to 1250 now so um, averaging uh, almost two a day joining joining the channels which is great which is really good uh, this one's proving quite quite popular and uh, a few people are buying this kit as well and uh, and looking forward to um, putting it together which so far i can really highly recommend <laughs> so all right so please give us a thumbs up if you like the video and comment below if you've got any comments if you've got any questions uh whatever you like just let me know down in the comments and uh all as well i'll see you all in the next episode of part eight okay bye for now